is called the first lady of television, America's sweetheart, and the queen of TV. And if you haven't guessed who it is yet, one Appleton native is using this year's Wildwood Film Festival to debut his feature film about this icon. Local 5's Robin Oginye has more. We'll be right back. Whether you know her as Sue Ann from Mary Tyler Moore, Rose from The Golden Girls, or Elka from Hot in Cleveland, we all know Betty. But Appleton native Steve Betcher took 10 years to not only develop a relationship with White, but cast a light on who she really is when the TV cameras stop rolling. Betty is just exactly what you want her to be. She's spunky, she's hilarious, she's naughty, and yet, but she's very genuine. I think that's really what this film reflects. It's just how she is in person is really endearing. People think, oh, well, and poor old Betty White, she doesn't know what she's saying. <laughs> oh, yes, you do. <laughs> The feature premiered at Appleton's very own Wildwood Film Festival, which highlights the work of talented filmmakers in the state. Not many people know that White had a special connection to Wisconsin. I did not know until, until meeting this filmmaker and, and of course, um, going over submissions, that Betty White had a Wisconsin connection. You know, that her husband, her, she's only been married once, and her husband is from Wisconsin, love of her life, and, and he's buried here. It, you know, it's a, it's a pretty neat connection here to somebody who might be the most famous woman in Hollywood. And as entertaining as it was to work with the funny lady, it wasn't quite that simple. I think what's really kind of um, fun about um, this project, but also challenging, is like this is America's sweetheart, Betty White, and the kind of first day of shooting, you're always kind of worried about screwing this up because everybody loves Betty. Nevertheless, there's no place like home, and there's no one like Betty. I just love what I do. I'm a, the luckiest old broad on two feet to get chances to do that. It's really special for us to come to Appleton, come back home where I'm from originally and bring the film to Appleton. That's what's pretty special. Wow, Steve Betcher and I go back 40 years in this business. Good to see him again. The uh, Wildwood Film Festival continues tomorrow at the Fox Cities Performing Arts Center. And you can find a link to tomorrow's agenda with the story on our website at wearegreenbay.com.